Okay. Okay. Right. I had enough of this. Just been watching Overtake. Doing, um, yeah, the second of the AMS 2 1.6 <sighs> reveal or pre look at, yada yada yada. Um, Yannick, I think his name is, was taking the uh, the Audi round Long Beach, complaining about the understeer. Okay. Well, the toxic comments roll in. Wow. Right, okay. Fred's Audi mod. Running with other mods and the original standard cars available uh, since 1.5 XXX. Let's see what's going on. So this isn't 1.6 people. This is the old terrible version. And I am driving angry to say the least in this really understeery Audi. I don't know what is going on after the first one and all the comments in the live stream that was going on why riser decided oh it's a good idea do a part two um, because obviously the audience watching that stuff are uh, just well toxic's a kind word i suppose but enough of that because we're not here to uh, this and hate other channels and other groups as much as I'd like to I do know Metz had asked if he could kind of uh, do a pre-release video didn't get very far but again his audience is mostly MS2 followers and fans who would be interested to see that stuff overtake no, the majority of people on there are from other sims and would love to see the downfall of AMS2 Let's drive around in this horribly understeering Audi It's not even a proper one, it's a mod No disrespect to Fred who makes, let's be honest, the best mods out there I say that hand on heart he is the master of the AMS2 mod and helps the other modders greatly when they come across problems so what have we got here we have got the Audi we have got what else have we got we've got the uh, Nissan R32 I think from Fred as well um, the Sierra, which no doubt you see bobbling around out there, which is a fantastic car to drive as well. And we have the Amiga, which is not by Fred, but it's in the same group. And then we've got Risers 2, which is the Merc and the BMW, which you can see ahead. And we've dumped them all in the same group, and we're running them at 110. And I'm not really uh, seeing a problem at all. Then again, I must be an AMS2 fanboy. Might as well break himself. Urgh, big time. Go. What's and all? We'll stick at it. Driving this terribly understeery car. I'm still driving angry, aren't I? Repeat mantra, calm down, Owen. Yeah, 
you'll go faster and live longer. So the problem with four-wheel drive cars and Audis, mash that throttle before you even get to the apex. Guess what's going to happen? It's going to understeer. Shut up, Owen. Shut up. Stop it. Just race. Enjoy the game. Just <laughs> what a way to start the weekend. I'll probably delete this video tomorrow when I'm calmed down a bit. So bad, my headset steamed up. Had to turn it off. Good oh God. So I've talked to a lot of people who are on the uh, are privy to uh, 1.6. Um, and the vast majority just sing its praises. Say so it's you know it's it's gonna be a biggie. Got a couple who say, well it's not, you know, it yeah it's improved, but it's not as big as everybody's saying. Gotta remember that they've been there for months now with slow incrementations of 1.6 fed to them so the changes will become the norm all the time to all us mere mortals with mere mortal bank accounts Shh. <laughs> You can't get away with spending that kind of money on the access. Nothing wrong with it, but there are many other hobbies to feed. <laughs> Four dogs, jeepers. Uh, it's going to be uh, hit, hit us with a whole in one. So, um, yeah, expect good things. Expect good things. I'm just, I really am a bit surprised that ooh, really am surprised that uh, there's not been a kind of uh, a rethink on that uh, pre-release video that they're doing uh, because it's, it just seems to be yeah not very well thought out at all and the uh, comment section is just oof cringy very cringy. I'm surprised Jimmy Broadbent isn't in there. Probably is. Just let me understeer my way around that corner. <laughs> really is a fantastic car, by the way, this. Go get it. It's one of Fred's. Uh, Fred's amazing DTM stuff. There is a few of them out there. Sierra again, third favourite. The uh, Amiga uh, is, uh, well, I'll leave a link in the description. That's not one of Fred's. That, that is known as the Unicorn Mod. It's uh, hard to get hold of. But I'll leave a link to where you can find it. Again, that is a uh, really good mod. Just uh, kind of, if you're into your, your older DTM stuff, you have both packs you well yeah it's uh, Christmas come early really every car's a every car's a winner the riser ones and the mods all the mods whoa how did I know that would be a merc sir <laughs> that could have been a merc oh a BMW or a raving psychopath. Either one of those three would have done that move to me. As it turned out it was the Merc this time. Just being a bit slow, chatting away. Go, bags of understeer, watch out, watch out, out the understeer. Look at that, went around the corner, I didn't have to turn the steering wheel. 
It's doubly, doubly insulting because I drive a bloody Audi. Excuse my French. I am one of those people. Surprised, I'm surprised they weren't dissing uh, Astra's, you know, going full top gear, Jeremy Clarkson, 1990s mode. <laughs> no, it's a box sellable. Right. My rage is slightly less on edge now. I had to get that out. <sighs> it, was like, it was like being in a room full of penguins. Right. Adios, I'm going lying down. <laughs>